As you know, the show must go on, and music's biggest night of the year, in part, was a heartfelt tribute to Whitney, making one of the emotional Grammys ever. ever. And Lara is there in Los Angeles to tell us so much more about it. Good morning again, Lara. Good morning, Robin, and you are right. These were the most emotionally charged Grammys that we've seen in a long, long time. Everything from Adele's stunning performance, her first since coming back from that throat surgery, to Jennifer Hudson's cover of I Will Always Love You, a night to remember for music fans the world over. And I Even in death, it was Whitney Houston's moment. We'll love you. Highlighted by Jennifer Hudson's simple, solemn tribute. Whitney, we love, we love you. While Whitney was on everyone's mind, the night belonged to Adele. You have Reeling in the crowd and rolling in the winds, six Grammys in all, including album, record, and song of the year. I'm good, it's good. <laughs> Many memorable performances from a newly single Katy Perry sporting bright blue hair so you can keep the ring. to Nicki Minaj's Exorcism. And a moving tribute to the rhinestone cowboy, Glenn Campbell, suffering from Alzheimer's, but still singing. But ultimately, the night belonged to two women, one a burgeoning superstar, and the other, a legend gone far too soon. Can't listen to that song enough. So good. And a footnote to all of this. Seems fans are paying tribute to Whitney online. First on Twitter, Queen Latifah wrote, Oh, dear Lord, hurting so bad, my sister Whitney. And Barbara Streisand wrote, She had everything. Beauty, a magnificent voice, how sad her gifts could not bring her the same happiness they brought us. And people are also paying tribute by buying Whitney's music. I Will Always Love You shot straight to the top of the iTunes chart. Mm -hmm. And on Amazon, seven of the top ten best-selling albums right now are from Whitney Houston. Robin and George. I can imagine so. Lara, thank you so much. For